does acupuncture or seeing an alternative medicine doctor really cost? You know, it's interesting because like if you go to see a physician or you go into the American healthcare system without insurance, it can be literally outrageous, the price you pay. I mean, I saw a recent study, a news article about a coronavirus patient who ended up leaving the hospital, thankfully alive, with a $1 million hospital bill. So notoriously, you know, American healthcare, notoriously horrible for the price and even the coverage. But what does it cost to actually see an acupuncturist or a Chinese herbalist? Because that's what I'm talking about here all day long, and you may be considering it now as an option. Let's jump into the video and discuss what it might cost to see an acupuncturist or a Chinese medicine practitioner. Hey, it's Dr. Alex Hine, author of the health book, Master of the Day, and also a Chinese medicine doctor, internal medicine specialist, and herbalist. So I've included two very important links below this video. The first link is to actually book to become a patient of mine in my private practice. So the first link below is not only gonna have my email, it's gonna have the direct scheduling link to become a patient or book an online telemedicine consult. Now the second link next to it is for a free download for subscribers. And it's this Taoist monk named Li Qingyun who supposedly lived to be over 100 by doing these five practices every day. And in that PDF, I share what those are, as well as a picture of this guy. So you can check him out right below this video. So the first thing that really dictates the price of going to see an acupuncturist or really any alternative medicine practitioner is what they're doing. So the modalities that they use and the modalities that they are practicing are going to be one of the biggest factors because, again, you know, even to see a physician in America, the price is okay, you know, expensive, but not killer out of pocket. But as soon as you have an x-ray or a CT scan, because those machines are hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, that can bring one visit up by three or $5,000. Same with surgery or having a titanium rod put into your hip, the intervention and modality affects the price. So for an average acupuncturist that's just doing acupuncture, the price is gonna be very different from someone that does acupuncture, facial rejuvenation, um, cosmetic acupuncture, fertility-based acupuncture, post-stroke rehabilitation, or if they're an herbalist. So for example, myself, as primarily an herbalist who does acupuncture with every session, Every patient that comes in gets both acupuncture and they're going to get a formula for the week. And the value of the formula is number one, that it's basically like getting mini acupuncture treatments every single day while I'm not seeing you. But for two, it often can really resolve some of that more deep seated stuff that just it takes time with chronic illness to actually resolve. So because of that, it takes, you know, there's a base visit fee, which for a lot of people ranges from 60 to $300, $500, as well as the return fee. And then for me, the fee of a patient taking herbs every week. On average, it's about $20 a week for me. Now, the second factor that dictates how much it's gonna be to see a practitioner is where you live and basically the number of years of experience that the practitioner has. So for example, I was hanging out with a friend in New York City and he told me that he knows practitioners who have post-stroke rehabilitation clinics in Manhattan and upper and upper east side and the visits could be over five to six hundred dollars per visit i know practitioners who run fertility clinics and they run their practices just like an ivf in vitro fertilization clinic and they're ten thousand dollars plus so you have to pay the cost up front and then if the patient does not get pregnant they refund the remainder so you have all the way from clinics that will charge you $10,000 for fertility, which could be the whole year, just paid up front or paid at a discount. And then you have people who are just charging uh, high rates because that's an area of specialty. They deal with a certain clientele. Uh, it could be wealthier clientele. It could just be specialty conditions or their skill. And it could just be the location. New York City being very, very expensive and middle America, Kansas being not so expensive, depending on the person depending on where you are. So it varies quite a lot based on not only the modality, the way the person practices, and also how often they want to see you. You know, there are practitioners who they want you to book 12 to 24 treatments up front, which is, you know, a third, a quarter, a half a year. And you have other people who are like, let me just see you for three visits. Then I'll be able to give you a 
more proper and official cost because how could I possibly know how many visits it's going to take you? You're a unique and different person. And I don't want to book you into some sketchy package that you have to pay. So it varies wildly. So let's quickly take a look at some of the prices around the United States. I don't know where you may be in your country, but as far as the U.S. goes, this is a pretty good estimate to help suss out pricing where and for what you're getting. I hope it helps you guys. That's just a ballpark figure. I would say the average figure is somewhere in between. It's probably between $70 and $120 return visit. And then if you're seeing me, uh, the formula, which for me is the most important part of my clinical expertise, that's about $20 extra a week. So ideally, if you were to see me, it would be probably about one visit a week or one visit every two to three weeks, but you'd be taking a formula the whole time in between your visits. So maybe that helps you ballpark or budget or save because I know I've been in your situation as well. I saw practitioners for years and at the time, you know, I needed the help and I didn't necessarily have quite enough money to do it, but I still did it anyway because resolving my health was the absolute priority for me. So I made it happen and for me, it was completely worth it. And that's why I've decided to go into this field. So again, before you guys go, check out the two links below. The first is for booking an appointment with me as a patient in my private practice, as well as my contact email down there below, as well as the free guide, Li Ching Yun's five daily rituals to live to be over a hundred and his exact daily practices that he did. All right, before you go, don't forget to check out these two related videos here.